Oh, never mind. It is nowhere near as serious. They all have the common cold. What the hell? How did a Triceratops get in here without me noticing? That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Um... Oh, oh no. I don't blame them for panicking. I think I'd be panicking too. Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to now the third episode of my Jurassic World Evolution 2 campaign playthrough. Uh, we left off just getting this guy back into encl uh, his enclosure after being uh, severely damaged by breaking through the fence. And now, um, I'm not actually too sure what I'm supposed to do. It says ensure it's safely enclosed, which I'm pretty sure it is. So th something that's not content with, maybe? No. Hmm. Maybe the Gallimimus are causing some sort of glitch? But I genuinely don't know how to get rid of them. Mm. Oh wait, hold on. Let me try putting one of those things in here. Alright, so... I'll add in this, see if this changes anything. I don't think it will. But I guess I'll see. Let's put it there. Uh, is he still content? Alright, no, this thing's gonna expire in a second, so... <coughs> what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna... Uh, go assign this thing. And then, hopefully that should... Start to work. Haha, <laughs> I didn't hit this time. Do I have to? Oh, okay, I have to add task. I need to. Hold on. Let me try and do this. Because I really, I really want to try and get the uh, Gallimimus out of this enclosure, but doesn't seem to be happening. It still says that it's not safely enclosed. I'm not too sure why. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go try and figure this out. Uh, and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so not much happened. I managed to get one of the Gallimimus out of the enclosure finally. Uh, and then Allosaurus got diagnosed with an ailment, so I went to check it out. And now Carnotaurus has it too, so I have another issue. Okay. Um, how do I actually heal them? I'm guessing with a helicopter. Or do I have to use those? Do I actually have to transport them over to here for everything? Okay, that's gonna be annoying. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to tranquilize them. Okay, here we go.
Nice. Right, now for the Carnotaurus. Alright, I actually can't check which one was ill for me. Okay, it's that one. <coughs> so... I'll come to that one. Bam. Crap. And... Nice. Oh, okay, so I... I <laughs> I've actually done something a bit stupid here. I've tranquilized them both at the same time. But I guess if this isn't the way you heal them, then I, I'll, I'll find out. Oh, it requires major injury? Ah. Okay. So how do I heal a minor injury? Or well, an illness? Do I have to research it or something? Um. Add task. Review research. Oh, okay, here we go. <coughs> so I actually have to research it. Insufficient skill. So I need to hire another scientist. Okay, we're gonna go do that. Uh, this building, yeah? Okay, yeah. Oh, can I upgrade my scientists? Uh, who has the highest skill? I'm guessing it's in genetics, yeah. Uh, I can fire them. I don't think I can upgrade them, though. Oh, wait, here we go. No. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire you. And recruit somebody else that has two genetics. Oh, well, you know what? Even three, sure, why not? Let's hire her. All right, now what I wanna check is uh, where's my research building? I actually don't know which one it is. Is it this one? Requires Operational Science Center. Emergency Shelter. Paleo Medical Facility. That's the Science Center. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. Um. Should it not be in one of the each? Um confused. It's not even here. It's not even an operatives. Do I have to research a science centre? Control room maybe. Uh research. So Hmm. Alright. <coughs> Wait, researchable? Requires operational science center. But... Right, okay. A little bit annoying. I don't know how to make a science center because it, it doesn't let me. I think I'm stuck in a bit of a loop. Um, I'm supposed to have the Allosaurus safely enclosed, but for some reason it, it's just not... Okay, if it's because of this Gallimimus, I'm... Stick drift. Um, I'm going to be extremely annoyed. Okay, let me try and coax it out of the enclosure. Where is it? There it is. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to remove the fences in its general direction. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Now, as soon as it leaves, I'm placing fe- Please leave. Yes, come on! Finally. Finally. I swear, if it goes back in, it- <clears throat> It went back in. Of course it did. Now it's running further into the enclosure. 
Is it going to run out the other way? I really hope so. Okay, I'm going to have to fix this. Oh, and as soon as I fix it, it runs back over this way. <sighs> okay. I guess I might as well fix this as well. So then there's no... <clears throat> no chance of the Allosaurus escaping. But this guy... Just does not want to leave. Alright, there's legit... An entire open... I thought there was more Gallimimus about to walk in there. There is, however, a tricep. What the hell? How did a triceratops get in here without me noticing? Okay, I've got an idea. I don't like this idea. Because it'll probably mean Allosaurus will become unhappy again, which will mean I'm going to have to fix the enclosure again at some point. But there we go. They're now not in the enclosure anymore. Hoping there's no other dinosaurs that have snuck their way in here. I just don't understand how that happened. An entire triceratops snuck into the enclosure. What? Uh, comfort. Yeah, needs more forest. Okay. Let's do that real quick. At least it's not that he needs more space because I, I, I cannot provide that right now. Uh, I'm guessing he's all good now. Yep. Yeah. And there we go, okay, so the mission's now actually completed. Thanks to these guys. Who somehow ended up in here. Uh, okay, just a couple more seconds. And now both of these two have it as well, great. So I'm, I'm going to have to hurry up and make this science centre. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, I can speed it up, but I completely forgot that that was a feature. Uh, and now it's not safely enclosed again. Why? Oh, it's because the gate was open. Okay. Wait, why is that five seconds going really slow? There's no way something else got into here. It's not possible. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's going down again. Okay, finally. Mission complete. 80% comfort, okay. To assess the status of the dinosaur that they're bringing in. We'll need well, to I am... Um... ...medical scan. I want to understand what went wrong if we're going to avoid an event like this in the future. Oh, I've, I've already done that. It's got 80% comfort already, so I need to research this, but... Obviously, we already know that to do that, I need the science center, so I guess I just wait the 10 seconds. Which I can speed up, which is good. Uh, <coughs> yep, there we go, okay. Uh, use the MVU to diagnose dinosaur injury using a medical scan. Major injuries require special treatment at the Paleo Medical Facility. Dinosaurs need to be transported directly into the facility. Assign scientists to treat the injury while the dinosaur is in the Paleo Medical Facility. Okay. I mean, I basically already knew that, because we did it uh, before we were supposed to, I'm pretty sure, but I don't see how that's an issue. Oh, he has scars! That's really cool. I don't know if they'll heal, but if they don't, that's quite cool. I have no clue what Cryptosporiosis is, but it does not sound great. Oh. Washington complete? Is that it? We'd worked to make sure the dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. <laughs> I thought I'd have to do At more. First, I but I mean I'm not complaining. Best. Then we realized that forest makes up about one fifth of the total land mass in the US and almost forty percent of Canada's wilderness. Working together with the DFW and the CIA. We made the dinosaurs feel right at home. In. The. Forest. I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. Because the dinosaurs definitely do. 
Pennsylvania. Okay. I think this is... Uh, I mean, uh, never been there, so I don't know what it's like, but... I'm assuming it's less snowy, more like sort of open spacey. <coughs> um, I I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see. Oh damn! To fly, right? Private, away from the hubbub of the public. No prying eyes asking wordless questions. I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> okay, this looks really now, nice. Call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations. And that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. The Appalachians have long been... There he is, the wretched Gallimimus, caused me so many here. issues before. Whether on their own help us someone else so why not the dinosaurs okay delivery of captured carnotaurus incoming Pull a few strings grease a few palms twist a few arms and bang just like that the department of fish and like a new base of operations oh, okay <laughs> we'll i thought it was going to be running if we're gonna extending over here but for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years the bare bones are established, but before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. I'm guessing I'm going to need to build a fence. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> Boy, arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Oh, George Let's Lambert, he's also from the last game. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous captures that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. We'll start with the construction of animal enclosures. We'll catch them, you keep them. Alright, so, here we go, building fences, so where do I want to put this? This is the area I've got power, so I'd assume it's best to place it within here at least. At least somewhat anyway. Uh, actually, you know what, let's, let's start off here. And it's Carnotaurus, so we're going to need something quite big. Uh, making sure that these are perfectly in line. Yeah, there we go. That should be longer. gone a bit far with that actually okay actually you know what let's build this up to here then what I'll do is I'll build it around this facility and around here and then bada bing bada boom question mark wait hold on ah uh, you know what it'll do all right so the fence is now built in uh, preparation for the Carnotaurus, and <clears throat> just like that on time, it uh, arrives. So, it's, oh, there's two. Oh, is it? Are we transporting them from the last park? Oh, they're getting here pretty fast. I better put some water in. suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety okay. first, for them and us. Status check so I can see what they what need. I probably should have realized that before I started building, but it's fine. <coughs> 
<coughs> okay, so we'll place that there. Get these guys. Come and give them a status check. So what I think I've figured out is that each of the campaigns lasts around 40 minutes, I think. So I'm not sure how many there's gonna be. But I say each of the campaigns, I mean like each of the uh, sections lasts around 40 minutes. So I'm not too sure how many there's gonna be. We're on the third one now, obviously. Uh, and conveniently, it lasts about the time of, uh, at the same time of uh, an episode, so. Oh, we're getting an uh, interaction. Oh, damn. We had a little a tussle. Okay, so. Nothing I'm missing. Sand and prey. Okay, so I did put a thingy in there, so maybe they need another one. Do that real quick. So they have more uh, prey. And then it says they want sand, so it's rock or sand. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll increase the scale of that, and I'll start putting up some sand. That's not sand, is it? That that doesn't look like sand. Looks more like rock. That's weird. Oh well. I'm just gonna assume that I'm stupid and this is sand. Put it in. Okay. That that should be enough, right? That really looks like rock. Am I being stupid? I'm sure that's not what it looked like before. I don't know. But anyway, uh all their needs have been fitted now, so she's adding a viewing gallery. A research viewing gallery. Oh. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't realise they were called that. I thought it was just a viewing gallery, but no. Alright, uh, adding the path. As always, I'm going to try and get this to be d desirable and not slanted. There we go. I don't know what this path's going to do here. Maybe I should cut this off. Uh, I'll sort that out later, though. The dinosaurs in this game look so cool. Damn, my guy's little having a little scratch on the floor. It's living with Alice. Okay, so I think. Am I trying to put these from the last park? Because obviously I had an Allosaurus in the last park, but uh, I guess so. Let's uh, get building the Allosaurus enclosure as well. I remember last time the Allosaurus was very picky and. Wanted a big enclosure, so I guess I'm going to have to <coughs> deliver on that. Give it a big enclosure. Uh, I mean, why not? Let's go big. Okay. So this is probably way too big. I probably don't need it this big, but. Just in case, just a, as a, 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 a whoa, just as a uh, precaution, we're getting the Allosaurus an extremely large enclosure this time. Don't want to risk him. Uh, I don't want to risk what happened last time, where I was stuck around waiting for the mission to complete. Although that may not happen now that I don't have Gallimimus roaming around everywhere. Hopefully they do fix that, because that was a very, very weird glitch. Uh, okay. There we go. That looks... That looks alright. I think that looks decent. Bit of curve here, but that's not too much of a problem. Uh, I only have 18 seconds. I need to put in some water. Uh do that real quick. Yeah, there we go. Uh, put one carnivore feeder there. Goat feeder here. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll we'll transport. Them. Uh, 
We'll get another goat feeder, I think. Put one there. Uh, do I want to? Oh wait, do the rocks change? These rocks look a little different to the last ones. Yeah, look at them. They change the rocks depending on where you are. That's quite cool. Uh, sure, I'll add in some rocks. I'll make it look nice. Uh, let's put it in over here in the water. Oh, let's put it like. Should I put it facing into the water like that? I think that looks decent. Uh, and then we'll get this one. And I'll put it over near here because I think I want the viewing gallery to be here. So I'll just have a few rocks around. Uh, oh, damn it. Status check. I have to put a gate on. There we go. Okay. Ranger team. Sure, I'll get them to do it themselves. Damn, look at that. Almost picturesque. <clears throat> Thumbnail. Maybe. Can I get that? Can I get that lens glare again? That was quite cool. No? Okay, never mind. Wait for the stage check to be done. Oh, there we go. And of course, he is missing forest once more. So let's uh, quickly get that in here. Oh, the forest looks a lot different this time. So it's obviously fitting in with the surrounding environment now, which is a lot different. Uh, I don't really want it to block the view. So I guess I'll just try and put in some of this smaller stuff. Uh, yeah, there we go. These are the stuff. This is the stuff I want. Uh, uh, I, I do still actually kind of want. Uh, yeah, there we go. That'll do. Is he content now? He's missing prey. Not pretty. Yeah, there's two in there. Is this sort of blocking the view? I think it might be. Let me just replace it with these so that it's more spread out, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then uh, I'll just place them there like that. Alright. Uh, I don't think he should be missing prey anymore. He's still missing forest. Probably because I just removed those. Uh, I'll put some here. I'll put some here. Where's he gone? There he is. It's missing prey. I, I don't get why. There should be some goats running around somewhere. Okay, so uh, all of the uh, timers are done uh, for ensuring that my Allosaurus is enclosed, and uh, all that's left to do now is to put in the viewing gallery. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna place that in real quick. Should I do it this close? I feel like I should maybe do it around the other side here. Like that. Then they would get a better view now. Damn it, Mr. Ian the Goat. Could have been a great thumbnail. Uh, okay, let's... Let's put it here, why not? Why not? Okay, and then let's grab this. I'm going to do this, this, and then this. Look at that. Immaculate. Okay, now, all I need to hope is that he walks into the line of sight when it gets built, and that my mission gets completed instantly. Yes. All right. Oh, finally got the science sure center. Would have been helpful last uh, mission or whatever, but you know, I'm, 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 I'm not complaining. Our more when we have in their 
So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists. No problem. Huh? To build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment that has here. already been made in these dinosaurs. So it's not really a building that I'm going to need when in a crisis, so I don't really need it to be at the front of the dinosaurs. There we go. Okay. Science center done. I need a staff center and a paleo medical facility. Uh, staff center. Let's put it here. Don't see why it needs to be near the front either. Uh, just in the path. Okay, he connects nicely. And then finally, a paleo medical facility. <coughs> now, unlike the other two, this one is probably a bit more needed because I've got to transport the dinosaurs there again. It's not. It's not like it's. Uh, hold on. It's not. It's not like it's response facility. So I can place it near the back really because I transport the dinosaurs by helicopter so I got uh, if I put it near the back though it's kind of out of the line of power I, I could put it here I could, I could put it here behind here maybe or how does it obstruct would it not just get rid of these trees can I get rid of these trees myself can I do that it's obstructed now Hold on. There we go. Okay, wait. There's still building constraints. I can place it. If stick drift would love to stop, that'd be great. There we go. Damn, I really need to get a new controller. Anyway, uh, let's connect you right up. There we go. Okay. That's everything I need. About to be online. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Lambert here. We could really use an expedition center. Get one built. Expedition center. I mean, you could have just listed this with the other ones. It would have made it easier for me. But you know, sure, Lambert. Why not? Let's tell me after I've already built loads of buildings and thought that I was done. Uh, let's put it right next to here. There we go. Okay, I don't want them to be nicely, you know, packed in. What I've noticed is we haven't actually built, because technically we're not actually building these to be entertainment parks, then we're just like holding facilities in a way. We haven't actually built many things that are for guests apart from the viewing galleries. So I don't know when that will be introduced. Maybe, maybe it won't be in the campaign. Uh, maybe we'll see it in Chaos Theory, which I may do a video on if these do well. <laughs> But uh, the last two videos I did to do too well, so let's hope this one does. Because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition map and dispatch a remote capture team to a hot spot. Okay. What I can on my end. And Kylosaurus. Okay. Is there anything else on the map? No. Okay. So we're off to here in Saint Louis. Saint Louis. I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't live there. Never been there. Most likely never will. Okay, the good news first. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams, which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. All right, nice. Now that I like. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a hundred percent win in my book. Now to the bad news, which I always hate getting, but honestly. Kind of Come on, giving. hit me, Cabot. I'm ready. <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease. Oh, We've for God's sake. On it post -haste. That's management speak for PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. Okay, <laughs> can I, like, build them away from everything else? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. That's good. 
Let's get to work. Okay, let's build it out here. Because I'm hoping that if I build it further away, the rest of the dinosaurs in the park won't catch said disease. Build a diagonal. I'm annoying myself, but it's okay. I'm gonna need to build another backup power station here, but it's fine. Fuel and food. Power generators consume fuel over time, depending on how much power is being drawn from them. Ranger teams, capture teams, and MVUs consume fuel and food and they complete tasks these are stored at their respective buildings. Resupply food and... F I just clicked all by accident. Um, so I didn't get to read that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it would have just... Oh. <laughs> Interrupt me again, why don't you? But uh, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it is just saying you can refuel them. Uh, okay. Uh... It's not fully built yet. It's still in the process of finishing off. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just place them over to this end. You know, where it is done. And of course, they get hit instantaneously. Uh, right, let's get some water in there. Nice, nice, nice. It's like a little pool. Maybe I should... I feel like I, I just do big pools too much. Maybe I should do like a little, a little stream coming off said pool and then we'll do another one here and then we'll have it go around here and then lead into a smaller pool. Yeah. Maybe it's a bit too much water for an ankylosaurus but I don't care. I think it looks cool. Okay let's get the gate I should, I'll, I'll, I'll put it here. I'll put it here. Okay. I do need to put that backup generator in. Let's do that now. Place it over to... Right, there's the building thing. So, I'll place it here. In case I do put any more buildings around there. Um, these are out of power. Allow me to resupply you, senor. Nice. Okay. Um, you, I need you to go and status check these two. And then medical scan as well. I'll do the medical scan myself, why not? Let's get the MVU. I love how there's just that uh, little person that's poking out of the top. Alright, in we go. Imminent death? Who knows? Hopefully not. Okay. Bada bing. Bada boom. What is wrong with you? Ah, okay. This is the one that the dinosaurs in the last park had. You have to understand something. Sign on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced and compromised. They deserve a chance at life as much as any other. What is cryptosporiosis? Honestly, perhaps even more. As the mirror. I, I want to find out. Let's research chance. it. Maybe it'll tell us. Do the research, or maybe not. <laughs> then let's use it. Okay, let's have a look. Dinosaurs die. There we go. Again. And listen. That's not going to happen. It doesn't say. But, hey, I'm sure it's nothing. They'll be fine. Alright. It says it's... Po Have I paused time by accident? No, I haven't. Oh, it did say it was paused. I'm, I'm thinking too much into it. It'll be, it'll be fine. Uh... Comfort's going down. Um, I'm pretty sure I already know this, but I'll read it anyway. 
Use the MV to diagnose dinosaur disease during the medical scan. Once identified, research the right cure for a disease at the science center. Once researched, administer the cure with a dart from the MVU. Yeah. Just the basic knowledge, really. But, hey. Uh, oh. <laughs> now it's telling me about research. Okay. Research. Research offers a wide range of options to expand and enhance your operations. Gain access to new buildings, building upgrades, new species, and operations improvements. Assign the appropriate scientist to research a new item, unlocking access to the next layer of items. Okay. Uh, what are they actually? Ground leaf and ground fruit. Oh, yeah, I forget herbivores actually eat plants in this game now instead of plant feeders. So he said ground leaf and ground fruit. So let's put some ground leaf over here. And over here near the water. And then we'll put ground fiber. There's ground fruit. Are these all ground fruit? No. Okay, these ones are ground fruit. What do these ones look like? Okay, these ones. Alright, I'll just use them both and we'll put these ones around here near the trees so it's more of a foresty bit there we go okay are they happy now no okay <laughs> great uh do you want a ground leaf let's use these yes the research is complete okay nice but I'm just gonna put some more ground leaf and then Again, put in more ground fruit. I'm hoping that this is all working. Alright, is that good? No, they need a bit more ground fruit. Okay, let's just... How about that? Yes! Okay. Now what I need to do is go and uh, treat them for their crypto cryptospore cryptosporidiosis I think that's how you say it cryptosporidiosis okay Hopefully, Ankylosaurus do not fight back. Uh, how do I... It says use these... Wait, oh, here we go, medicate, okay. So I'm guessing it's the same as... Thingy, I just press out. Yep, there we go. Alright, nice. Let's try to get a headshot. Bap. Is that fully medicated? It w oh, no, 99%. There we go. Okay. Nice, my job is done now. Let's get out of here before he decides to hit me with that tail. Wait, what? There's another one. Did it give it to one of the... Of the dinosaurs? Oh, no. Okay, if I've learnt one thing from this game, it's that I'm terrible at driving. There we go. Alright, I did not realise that something else had caught cryptosporiosis, but... Let's go and treat it. Ah, one of the Carnotauruses, of course. Okay. Prepare, for I have medical equipment. Oh no, he stood up. That's not great. Is that going to fully medicate him, or is he going to do 99% like last time? Let's hit him twice. For good measure. He doesn't look too happy. Alright, nice. Job done. 
stress test our systems and make sure we're capable of managing both the science and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs in the wild. Plenty of targets to bring in. Assets. And yes, this will be an ongoing mission for us moving forward. Let's put some rocks in here real quick before I move on to the next mission. Just kind of wanted to look a bit more thingy. Okay, let's do that. Let's make a look up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, I, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny ex-wife joke. Uh, certain buildings have a number of possible building upgrades that can be applied to improve their performance. Research new building upgrades and the ability to add a second slot. Apply a maximum of two unique upgrades to each building in the upgrades tab of the info panel. Okay. Increase the asset rating of your facility by sending out expeditions to catch new species and ensuring they are comfortably enclosed and visible to your operatives. So I'm going to want to put a visual thing here on the Ankylosaur. Stick drift. I'm going to want to put a visual thing here. Why do I always click the wrong one? Uh, so that guests can see the Ankylosaurus and that should maybe give me an increase in ratings. I hope. I mean, it definitely should, right? Right, is the path gonna go down there? Realistically, is it gonna? It is! Perfect. Okay. Expeditions, there we go. Do I get to choose which one's I? Oh, yes, okay. Uh, Cynoceratops. Parasaurolophus. Baryonyx. Uh... Chasmosaurus and Taurosaurus. Okay. Now. I. Oh, Di. Deinonychus. Oh, so these. I need to improve my skill thing if I want to do this. So, this one's Deinonychus. This one's Brachiosaurus. And this one's Diplodocus. Okay, I don't know which dinosaurs have the best ratings out of all of these, but I'm assuming that carnivores would do. And there's two Baryonics there. There's for Deinonychus, but what else was the Cynoceratops? Okay, I could try to improve my skill and get those Deinonychus, but I may get the Brachiosaurus just by looking at how long these take. I'm going to assume the longer it takes, maybe the the better the dinosaur is. Or does that just mean... Ugh, I don't know. I'm going to go with the Brachiosaurus, I think. So I'm going to... Actually, no, no. I can't, I can't be bothered. Hire a new scientist. So let's just go with... Uh, I don't want all carnivores. That, no, okay. No. We're going to go... We're going to go hire some new people. That's the response facility. Where's the... No... No, oh, that's the science center. Arrival point, expedition center, staff center, there we go. Okay. Oh, I can hire new people now, yes! Alright. Uh, I'm not even going to look at all the traits and stuff. I'm just going to try and see who has the best uh, skills for what I need. So, five welfare. Also has five welfare. You cost the least. Okay, so I could go with someone. Oh, okay, he's pretty good because he has a decent, like, max out thing. He also has faster research, but I don't understand how he's more expensive than the one on the left of him because he doesn't actually do that much better. This guy increases all skills by one. That's quite good. Yeah, let's go with him. Why not? I mean, I'm pretty sure we only need one more anyway. So we'll take him on board. We'll go to here. And can we still not do this? Scientist limit two. Ah, oh, okay. So I'm going to need to hire the person with the five 
welfare skill. Yep, there we go. Well done, you're hired. Okay. So now, if I go here, can I? Nope. Never mind. And I've now maxed out who I can hire as well, so I I can't get those. So I, I uh, what can I go with now? Five Taurosaurus, that could be good. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with the Taurosaurus. Uh, we'll get you and you. There we go. Uh, right, let's get started building this now. So I'm going to start here just so that I can take the power from here. Uh, and because we've got five, I'm going to make it quite large. I don't know why I bent that bit a little bit there. It's going to annoy me, but it's fine. I've kind of stopped caring about how neat my enclosures are now. I just kind of want them to fit in size wise. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's put it to here. And then do. Okay. Very messy enclosure. I should. I'm really tempted to straighten it up. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop recording and quickly do this. Back in a sec. <laughs>